So somebody on Reddit the other day uh, asked, what is economy picking? And I thought, well, that's a pretty good uh, question. And it's also a good topic to make a video out of. So here we are. Uh, economy picking is an alternative to alternate picking. Uh, alternate picking just means you're doing down, up, down, up, down, up, no matter what. Uh, another definition of alternate picking is you're doing your downs on your downbeats and your ups on your upbeats. But regardless, it's this consistent pattern of down and up. Whereas economy picking, you're going to be sometimes doing two downs in a row uh, when you're switching strings, or you might be doing two ups in a row when you're switching strings. You can't do this all the time. This is only going to work out in specific situations on the guitar. Um, but if you set up situations to be economy picked, you can access a lot more speed. At least I can personally. There's there's sort of a debate between economy picking and alternate picking. I personally think you should learn both. Uh, neither of them is going to hurt you. Um, and you certainly don't want to rely on one or the other. But uh, I, I see a lot of advantages to, to learning economy picking, especially when you're dealing with things uh, three notes per string and even smaller little licks, that you know, two string licks and stuff like that. So uh, let's get right into it. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my major scale. And um, there's a million ways to play it because the major scale in A, we'll just use A, uh, the notes of A major are all over my fretboard. So uh, I could play A major like this. I could play it like this. But what I'm going to do is arrange it like this. And you'll see that's three notes per string. And what that enables me to do is an economy picking pattern where on each string my pick is going to go down and then up and then down. And my next string it'll be down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now the down, that third down here, down, up, down, that third pick stroke, down, up, down, that down really just glides down to the next string. It's not even a separate pick stroke. Whereas if I was alternate picking, I would do down, up, down, and then I'd actually have to swing my pick up. Instead, we're just doing down, up, down, straight through to the next string. And we'll do it again here. Down, up, down, a big down there. Down, up, down, down, up, down. So by removing the, the need to swing your pick all the way down here and do an upstroke, you get a little extra speed in between uh, each one of those strings. Uh, and I mean, me, I, I, can, I can economy pick through a scale much faster than I can alternate pick through it. So that, to me, it's, it's worth practicing this sort of thing. Um, on the way up, if we're uh, or on the way down the scale, if we start on the first string, um, we would just do the opposite. We would start with an upstroke and we would go up, down, up. And that last upstroke would take us to another upstroke, up, down, up. And then another upstroke, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So, since we're set up three notes per string, it's pretty easy to practice this as a triplet uh, flavor. Imagine just doing one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Like that. And then on the way up. And once again, a little faster. So, I mean, I'm a little out of shape here on some of these, but you can hear there's a lot of speed in between the strings. Um, and this works for any three note per string pattern. So if I was in a mixolydian, or uh, a locrian, That's a locrian right there. So we can go up and down scales a lot faster with economy picking, but I also like to see how it applies to small little licks. And here's a good example. Uh, I'm going to put my uh, pinky on 12 on the first string. I'm going to have my first finger on 9 on the first string. And I'm going to have my middle finger on 10 on the second string. Those three notes give me an A major arpeggio. All right. And the way I'm going to play it is like this. I'll do uh, an upstroke with my pinky on 12, and I'll do a pull-off, an up with a pull-off. Now I'm going to do down on the second string and down on the first string. So there's the two downs right there. That was my economy picking. Normally, if I was alternate picking this, you would do a down up in between those strings. But why would I switch the pick direction when I could just down down? I can just plow through those two notes. All right. So I would have an upstroke, down down, up pull off, down down, up down down, up down down, up. And for me, I can play that faster if I economy pick it. If I have to do a down up down down up down, I start really bogging down. Um, so, and that's uh, applicable to different arpeggios, obviously, if I was in uh, C-sharp minor. Same exact picking, or uh, here's A minor instead. A major. So let me give you one more example here of a small little lick here that you can play just using economy picking. Um, we'll start with the same arpeggio, we'll do an upstroke, but then we'll do down, up, down. And then we'll follow through that downstroke again to do our economy picking. So up, down, up, down, down, up. Down, up, down, down, up, 
down, up, down, down. Nice little move. Lots of speed that you can throw in at any point in time right there. You can think of a 16th as 1 Iana, 2 Iana, 3 Iana, or you can think of it as triplets, 1 triplet, 2 triplet. All right, so economy picking, I think this should explain it pretty clearly, and there's a lot of ways we can use it. Um, but basically, it's just a, a, a technique of getting your pick to, to follow through to the next string uh, when you're ascending and descending. And me personally, I like to arrange certain guitar solos and certain difficult passages so I have access to that economy picking move, because for me, it's faster than doing alternate picking. Um, I do practice things both ways, though, because it's important to balance out any of the, you know, the... Uh, the, the blind spots you might have in your technique. You know, you don't want to really rely completely on one technique. And I would be the first to admit that I, I'm, I probably should practice more, uh, more alternate picking than economy picking because I'm comfortable economy picking a lot of things, but a lot of alternate pick, picking passages, I try to convert to economy picking just because it feels more comfortable to me at this point. Um, and that's just a matter of practicing it a lot. So hopefully this uh, gives you a little light into economy picking as you go forward and trek through the strange world of lead guitar. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.